Early elections will be held in Lesotho this Saturday for all 120 seats of the National Assembly, which is the lower house of the country's parliament. The elections are three years ahead of schedule because of a successful vote of no confidence against the incumbent Prime Minister Pakalita Mosisili in February. Angela Coppola has more. Since then, the SADC appointed facilitator, the South African Deputy President Cyril Ramaphosa, has been shuttling back and forth between Lesotho and South Africa to find a solution to the situation. It's the second time in the last two political terms that the more than one million Basutu have been asked to go to the polls early to elect a government. The 2015 election was preempted by political turmoil, an alleged assassination attempt, and the leader of the opposition, Tom Thabane, going into exile in South Africa. Tabane returned in February this year to contest those elections that we're having now once the no-confidence debate happened. Analysts suggest that Tabane may have a slight advantage over Mosisili, but it's all about the coalition partners and who they will join on either of those two frontrunners. The major concern, of course, between political and security analysts is the reaction of the country's military to the results. For now, voters are going to the polls and we should see the majority of the results late on Sunday. I'm Angelo Coppola for CGTN in Maseru, Lesotho.